I see the key phrase, infinitely many solutions. You're only gonna see infinitely many solutions with two linear equations. And again, if we're building off of the no solution problem we did earlier, all I'm gonna have to do is think these two lines are overlapping. Graphically, that's gonna mean they have the same slope and the same y-intercept. So again, just because you get some funky numbers with this sometimes, on Desmos it can be a little bit hard to read the weirder fractions. I just always do these ones by hand. Uh, first, I have to get them both in slope-intercept form. So I just distribute this and I get AX plus AB. And because it's infinitely many, I know that my slope and my y-intercept are equal. So I know that my four is my slope of my other line, my A is my slope of this line, so I already know A is equal to four. And then for my second equation, we know that our y-intercept is 10. For them to be identical, my AB has to be equal to 10. And if I know that my A is four, it's just four B is equal to 10, divide this by four, and for b, you should get 2.5. So really, not too bad there. Always just put them both in slope-intercept form if you see no solution linear equations or if you see infinitely many. That's all.